Hey YouTube, coming at you with some OGs here. Uh, Azumarill, Registeel, and Sableye. So the true OG team would be Azumarill, Umbreon, and Registeel, but um, I think I made this team for two reasons. One, Azumarill, as I mentioned before, Azumarill's starting to appear everywhere. It does okay against Lickitung. It obviously does, as a fairy, pretty, really good against Metachamp. You have the Ice Beam, which will, be, which will one-shot Gligar. Even against Grass, you can hit for super effective Ice Beam. So it's it's a pretty good Pokemon to do. Uh, I'm putting on the leaks. I don't have Hydro Pump, so I don't want to get caught in like a Steel matchup in the back. Um, and that's why I have Sableye as a safe swap, because you sort of still need a safe swap for this team. Uh, Medis are everywhere, so I don't want to do like double weak. I don't want to do Umbreon. Registeel is a double weak to Medi. Uh, I think Umbreon's good. I'll, I'll cover that in like another video at another time. Sableye is just, I still think, one of the best. Uh, obviously, Lickitung's going to be a little tough on the safe swap, but... Uh, I mean, not for, not for this team. You have Reggie for that, but uh, if you save stuff, save like yeah, with the Lickitung, it's a little rough, but like not like very, very few Noctowls. You have to save like does quite well in neutral situations. And again, everyone's been scared to run steals now because you have like a flyer that is now dominating with a ground type move that hits really, really hard. Um, and a flyer that's also half ground, so you're like Zap Cannon here is only does neutral. But I've also seen an uptick in grass. I've also seen an uptick in... Zoom rolls, and I've seen an up, uh, uptick in Lickitung's. It's just like Registeel fits the bill, right? It don't, it's not, it's not, it hasn't been the number one Pokemon forever for to not <laughs> be used now. Um, and speaking about the number one Pokemon, before I start the battles and timestamps below for different leads here, for those of you who don't know the history, Azumarill was the number one ranked Pokemon for seven seasons. They eventually two things happened. They nerfed Bubble, but even that moved it down from like rank one to like the fifth. It still dominated. Um, then what happened was Trevenant showed up everywhere, Registeel showed up everywhere, Lantern showed up everywhere, and then because of that, they just uh, it just kind of went away. But now it's making its comeback this season because of the meta. So great lead here. They come in with Beedrill. I saw the poison, so I immediately went into Reggie. But Sableye also has a good matchup against Poison. I think I saw the Poison uh, Bug and then like uh, Bug Dark. It's kind of not great there. So let's just go Poison Steel. Uh, Jaron still would hurt though. So I, I wanted to throw the Zap Cannon to lower their attack first. Um, and I get it. And you're going to see. <laughs> I, I got another. Do I have another Registeel team coming? I'm using Registeel on another team. And I got like zero drops in like five throws. It was so annoying. <laughs> so get the, I'm just going to outpace here. This will one shot, so let's see if they want to fight for switch. They do not, so down it goes. Uh, and now, hopefully, I can get to a focus blast before they take me out here. I'm going. I'm in the red. I'm going. Doesn't hit that hard though, and I do survive with like a couple HP there, enough to get a focus blast off, which is huge. Um, they're probably gonna let it go. Yeah, there's no point. Uh, and now, this is where just sort of Sableye is just strong in general right one frenzy from a non-shadow venusaur is not going to take me out uh, so i should be able to get to at least this if they shield i instant swap into a zoom roll because then they, uh, the worst case scenario is they farm me down and come have two frenzy plants coming out uh but if i immediately switch out there i can shield the first frenzy again you'll live a frenzy as a xl a zoom roll here uh, get the ice beam off Hopefully this is enough to take out from this range. It is. That is your great coverage. That's why more, more people run Superior. I talked about earlier in the week. Venusaur versus Superior. Superior just has that bulk. Superior would live that. Uh, but there's that. So, again, this is not an amazing matchup here. Because they can get to the Power X. But you are tanky enough. And you're just going to get to the Play Roughs. Decent amount thing. Anyway. So you're going to lose this matchup. But it's not a terrible loss. So I would rather just lose it here um, than have to like go into a Sableye where it's just such a bad matchup. So I grab one shield, which is nice. Um, get another move off here, which is, again, not going to do anything in particular because they're already in focus blast range. So it doesn't really matter whether they whether I land that or not. Uh, I tried to just get the Ice Beam off there because if I got the Ice Beam off, maybe it was in like lockdown range. But they get a power up off. That's okay, I've got a shield advantage. They eventually get out into Defense Deoxys. One foul play does not take out a DD. I figured I'm gonna do this because one foul play does not take out a DD. Um, 
I don't want to like get chipped there and then they could like lick a bunch with lick a tongue and then I'm kind of an awkward situation. So I'm fine shielding that thunderbolt up. Get that off. If out comes the lick tongue, I'm close to return. I may just go straight return. Um they get a move off. It has to be power whip or else it's gonna be resisted, so it is a power whip. Um now <sighs> I don't know if foul play would have taken out from there, which is why I'm just guaranteeing it with the return. Like foul play would have been like really close to not taking it out. Um, get this foul play off, which is okay. Um, which is actually pretty nice because they have to kind of shield or else I'd pick them pretty low. Although now you're going to hit with a zap cannon. Hopefully it lowers their attack. It does. Okay, so I actually get the defense falls and the, the attack falls in this one. Everything's resisted unless they're running dynamic punch, which some are now. And some are now, right? So there we go. Land the dynamic punch. Get the full counter down. But because I landed that, they are not going to counter me down before I uh, shadow claw them down. So dynamic punch. I went over this a few times already, so I won't talk about it again. But it's a nice, it's a nice move. So again, we've seen this. Um, I'm just going to stay in here. Take the power whip. The good thing about this team is Azumarill, Ridge Seal, pretty bulky. Sableye has a good amount of bulk too. Um, guess I'm playing this differently. Okay. <laughs> you don't, have, I mean, I don't think I could take out. Mm, I probably could flip switch here now at this point if I wanted to. Because I'll live a power rep. This probably won't take out, but I could just bubble down at this point before they get to a body slam. I'm second guessing whether I actually will get before. I should buy some, won't take me out. Uh, well, we're going to test that there right now. No, I think it was actually take me out. Freaking like a tongue. God damn. Okay. Yeah, not good. I shouldn't have shielded. It's such a losing matchup, and now we're in trouble. I mean, the good news is Sableye versus Glygar is a decent matchup, and not when you're behind on shield here. They throw right before I get to the next one. I was gonna say, I, I don't know if I live a dig or not. It would be close. I get another one off. This will chip it low. But they can just easily shield and get to like two digs, and then I'm just in huge trouble. I tried to catch. Yeah. I tried to catch thinking like maybe they would throw maybe just an aerial ice, but they do get off a dig. But if I get both here, they have a lick of tongue on the lead, so maybe in the back that's something that I can deal with. But we'll see. Back to back digs here. We'll take out Reggie. Um, probably should have thrown that. What am I doing? Just an aerial ace. Oh, it's a Toxapex. Well, had I shielded that, maybe. No, I don't think I would have got to enough, anyways. Ace hand slash. The only problem with ace hand slash is a lot of people know. Uh, you're not running Hydro Pump. I've seen a few Hydro Pumps. Like, don't get me wrong. But I, I think a lot of them know you're not running Hydro Pump. But these bubbles do add up. So I'm going to fake like I have a Hydro Pump. See, hopefully I'll grab a shield. If not, uh, so I do grab a shield. That's not that's not bad. Because I would say, if not, I bet you you could still get to two play roughs and take this out before they take you out. Because I don't think a draw one's going to take me out here. And I would have got a second play rough off. So even resisted... Azumarill probably beats this in the zero shield to a shadow anyways. Yeah, 100%. 100% two players would have taken out here. Uh, they're going to be loaded with energy. I kind of have to come. I still may shield. Yeah, I just don't really want to come Reggie because then you're like, so they're back to back here. I'm pretty sure this is just a nice bunch, but um, I didn't want to play like a, oh, it's a Reggie. I have to shield and then they bait me and then they land. the. So that would have sucked. Um. I'm going to throw right before they get to the aerial ace, because the aerial ace from this range will take me out. Okay. I still may shield. Yeah. What I think I'm going to do here is shield, get this foul play off, force the last shield, chip a few more with Shadow Claw, and then hope I can iron and hope I can get all the way down there. And they, oh, why would they give up? I don't like this play. I don't like this play by them. They just gave up switch here. Super effective. Um, I didn't know how much a zap cannon would do. 
if, if I knew Zap Cannon did like 80%, I probably would have got out immediately, but I don't know how much it does to a gel sense, so I just wanted to make sure that a Zap Cannon would KO. Um, and I know that Reggie's tanky enough. Chelsea lead. Um, again, there's no real, the only hard, hard, hard leads I'm leading, leaving against is like, probably like a Registeel. Uh, I'm probably leaving against Grass. Anything else in this sort of like neutralist matchup here? It's probably a losing matchup here, but it's neutral. I could take two Shadow Balls. I'll get a second play rough off. So it's not a terrible situation to be in, right? They're still going to have to throw, or else I'm going to get to an Ice Beam here and take them out, unless they shield, which they don't. So they're going to have to throw here. Good counting. But even if they Surf here, which I expect them to, I don't think they can get to another move before I claw them down. So both have two shields, have a couple claws, get hit with the Lickitung, not surprising, come in here. Uh, they are not leaving... Oh, they catch on the... Uh, okay. Two things happen here. I remember this. I just lost this game because of this. <clears throat> One, Focus Blast does not take out a Lickitung. It puts it at like 20, 25% left. One Zap Cannon does like... So you still need two Focus Blasts anyways. So the goal is to always just throw Zap Cannon because if you throw Zap Cannon and you lower their def attack... You just make that matchup way, way easier. So you always go Zapkin in there. Unfortunately, or or lucky, I don't know. My opponent catches on a ground Pokemon. Because uh, if I focus blast this, that would have killed them. Uh, but now, because I just dumped all that energy, they're now going to lower my attack multiple times. And now they're going to have alignment on their Lick Tongue on the, my Sableye. So this is not looking good. Um I really don't really know how I'm going to get out of this one right now. These app, these uh, Dragon Claws are breaking swipes. Dragon Tails are adding up. I'm trying to get out. Trying to just get foul play chip damage here. Maybe I can get a focus blast off on the... I still need two. Licks are going to hurt me though. So I need to start shielding. Even though it's just breaking swipes. Because Licks are going to do a ton of damage. Yeah. And at this point... At this point, I feel like, and they're already loaded with energy. Yeah, I think this game's over. Catching of catching on a um, catching a resisted zap cannon killed me here. If I landed focus boss, I would have won this matchup, but I do not think I'm winning with that situation here. So down I go. Out we go. Okay, Medi. I s you don't they don't have to leave because one play rough. I don't think one play rough actually takes out from this range, um, so I think they could stay in and just go back to back psychic if they really wanted to. They do shield. I'll live one psychic, but I may shield just because I know they shielded. Yeah, so they shielded. I'll shield back. Out comes a Lickitung. Uh, as you can see, I'm going for the Zap Cannon again because this time they cannot catch. I'll give you the I'll give you the exact. Um, I'll give you the exact here how much a Focus Blast does versus what a. So a Focus Blast to a Lickitung does. 64.5%, right? Not even that. It's just that the Lex do add up over time here. 64.5%. Um, so you still need two, whereas Zap Cannon does 40. But between the Lex, so yeah, so you, even with all, so not the Lex, all the lock ons, you still need two focus blasts, and then you need a Zap Cannon focus blast. So it just makes sense to try and lower their attack. In every situation there. Hit with the Dazzling Gleam. It's fine. I got a Reggie. Hopefully I can get to move here. I cannot. It is just a Powder Snow. So I should be able just to farm all the way down here. It's 
just a weather ball. But we are farming. What is in the back again? Oh yeah, Medi. So it should be a good situation here between the claws and the foul plays here. Probably won't take it out. Probably still need a couple more claws. I do. I think they need two ice punches though, and I don't think they can got to it. So that is the OG team. Um, again, you're going to see a lot more zoom rolls. I still think Sableye is one of the best safe swaps. Registeel, I still think it has play. Obviously, being able to be taken out by two digs on a Gligar makes this a little trickier to run now. Um, but there are still Lickitongs everywhere. There are still zoom rolls coming up. There are still grass. So you still have a lot of play with Reggie, but definitely a lot less out there than, than before. So that's it. That's a team. Um, yeah, I think this is going up Thursday. So league turnover tomorrow. We'll do top teams for Ultra League. And I think it's Sunshine Cup. Uh, so stay tuned for those. And that is it. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.